shit. Nearly there. Where are you, Tony? Bravo, baby. Come on, then. Raining. 
Atlas, baby. Okay, time to end this, Tom. Deacon, are you there? Oh, I almost had Tony. He's taking the lead. Roger that. The quickest three goes upstairs. Oh, come on. Well, at least it's downstairs this time. Happy hunting, soldier. Roger that, big man. On way down. Keep an eye out for Tony. He's making a break for it. Okay. Head for the car park. Nice one. Me beauty. This. Go. Oh, Michelle. Are you 
you sure? Did you check? Did you see him? Are you sure? I'm sure.
showdown time. It's blood and truth time. Just him and me. This is it, Tony. No escape this time. Here he is. Here he fucking well. I thought you was gonna miss the flight. But you do have a bit of turning up, don't you? You want a drink? I'll pass, thank you, Tony. The greatest moment in a man's life is when his enemies are finally vanquished. Wasn't it uh, Genghis Khan who said that? I don't know. I don't follow cricket. <laughs> uh, I only used to read about that shit to have some clever sounding things to say. I mean, mainly it was an excuse to go away from my fucking missus. I'm just gonna go read about some history, darling. Ironic, isn't it? What is? Well, because all that reading did actually teach me something. You can't win them all. Even my old man said that. It's about the only thing the fucker ever told me. Yeah. Do you really think you could just get away with killing half my family? Yeah, I did, yeah. I mean, we was fighting a war. I mean, what? You're a fucking soldier and you don't want to fight. Do me a fucking favor. Let me tell you a story. Right, when I was about 12, 13 years old, there was this Irish kid lived down our street. Same age as me, but he was a bit bigger. And we got into a fight. I think he'd had a go at Keech, something like that. He beat the shit out of me, battered me. When I went home, I mean, my mum asked me what had happened, and I told her. She said, go round his house, knock on his door, and tell him you want to fight him again. I thought she was having a laugh. So what'd you do? Well, I did. I mean, I've never been so scared in my life. But I went round there. Knocked on his door, one of his brothers come out, and I went, where's Sean? I want to fight him again. Well, he's looked at me like I'm a fucking lunatic. You fucking are. He goes back inside, and I can hear all these voices. Then the eldest brother comes out, and he goes, Sean don't want to fight. And I went, what I fucking do? So get him out of here. Well, now he's looking at me like I've got a screw loose. He goes, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, you ain't gonna get any more trouble from us, but leave Sean alone. Now, Sean could have come out and given me another good idea, or they could have all got together and kicked me and Keech up down the street for the rest of our lives. What is the point of this long fucking story, Tony? The point is, they didn't. The point is, I learned something that day. Huh? Now, I know your old man had similar stories. Anyone who gets as far as we did in this business has. I had a lot of respect for your old man. <laughs> yeah, 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 and I like to think he had a lot of respect for me too. He was room for us both. We knew that. But this mob, this organization, I mean, that, that's a different story. I mean, I've seen some fucking things in my time, but I ain't never seen nothing like this. And they're a different league. The efficiency. 
One minute you're talking about a problem, next minute, bang. Problem solved. Who they are, how they operate, I mean, fuck knows. And, and, and they just keep growing. If anyone could be a nuisance to them, you can. I mean, you've been enough of one to me. I just wish I could go knock on their door and tell them I want another fight. But I'm not the one wearing a parachute. Am I right? Ooh, that doesn't sound too fucking clever, does it? How's it going? Good. Yeah, good. I will be making some changes, though. Getting rid of this decibel one, because I look fucking ridiculous behind it. Yeah, you do. Thanks. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah? Yeah, you're gonna be great at this. Can I ask you a question? Yeah? Don't you love me? What? Because I got jack shit from your will, and you got to keep Nick's ring. Well, the thing is, Nick loved me more. You know what? <laughs> Keep the ring. Looks better in your delicate hand than mine. <laughs> I see you've thrown Carson out already. Yeah, don't let him smoke inside. Yeah, but you do. Yeah, but I'm the boss. <laughs> anyway, he has been helping me rebuild all the shit that you've left behind. <laughs> do you trust him? It's not about trust. Then what is it about? I've been looking into this secret organization you two keep banging on about. It's untraceable, Ryan. Not for much longer. So you're going? I am. All right. Just don't go getting yourself killed, okay? Okay, as long as you don't fuck up the family business. Okay. Are you... Are you crying? No, I'm not crying. You are, you are crying. No, I've got something in my eye. I'm fine. <laughs> Do you want a hug? Nope. I wouldn't want Carson getting jealous. Well, go on. It looks lonely out there. I love your sister, man. <laughs> yeah, she's something else. <laughs> Thanks for looking after her. Yeah. So, Gayla, right? Yeah. Her real name's Amanda Kincaid. 
Two years ago, she was a highly respected CIA operative. Mm -hmm. She was working her mission for me. Something happened. She came back different. Then she disappeared. The thing is, she was a good operative. The best. She told me Dad to join the organization. She told you that? She did. <laughs> Man, that's how she works. She will mess with your head. Why didn't she let me go? And why didn't she kill me? I have no idea. But hey, you're already dead. <laughs> oh, come on, man. We're going to go after them anyway. Amanda, the organization, all of them, right? Right. Right. So what's next? I'll let you know. Wow. You're lucky to be a ghost in such a beautiful city, my friend. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's have a little look at the credits. Oh, we can't. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Here's the credits. Go, that was blood and truth. Thank you very much for joining me. Been very nice. And I'll catch you in the next video. Be good to your mother and your brother and your sister and anybody else that you know. Love you. Goodbye.